Hello Capricorn, what it do? What's good with you? We're going to take a little look today and we are going to see if we can determine whether or not it's a good idea for you to hold on or move on. Alright? So if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of this video. Also, the Amazon links where you can buy every last one of these decks here used in this video. Uh, are in the uh, description of the video as well, okay? So anyway, let's hop right into this. This is a brand new one. Brand new one here, so it's a little bit, I gotta break it in. The Golden Universal Tarot, I like this one. Ah, there we go. First thing I wanna do here is do a quick vibe check on the past. I'm gonna do a vibe check on the past energy here. Down, 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 down. Vibe check on the past. Two more shuffles here. Two more. Come on, cards. There we go. There we go. It's going to be a few more readings before this deck is fully broken. Bam! Ten of Swords reversed. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so the Five of Cups is in the heart of the spread here. Judgment. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Alright, so this is something that feels to me like it ended before it ended, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, you already, in your mind, determined, you know what? This is over. It's over, and I'm already getting over it before it even officially ended. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? For a lot of you, um, for whatever reason, and I, and I know this has been coming up a lot here lately, uh, not for everybody, but um, something that, that you should have walked away from a long time before you did. Uh, but this is something here that you actually determined that it was over and you were over it before it even ended. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I really feel like I mean, you were really in tune with the fact that I think that the separation was divine intervention. This looks like one of those connections uh, in which the sole purpose was to come together and to separate. That was the whole plan from the get-go, you know? And when you're really in tune with the actual nature of a soul contract, you can tell when it's coming to an end. You can feel it, you know? Even if there is no legitimate reason you can point to, you know, you can feel it. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't a legitimate reason. For some of you, maybe there wasn't. For some of you, maybe you just started to feel the energy cords being cut whenever the, the connection served its purpose. For others of you, maybe the universe had to, to intervene in a, a not-so-pleasant way. But I, I really feel like, for most of you, this was a situation that, you know what, you felt it. Yeah, I feel it coming. The connection's getting weaker. It's getting weaker. It's getting weaker. And I'm pretty much over it before it even ended, you know? Could be a Libra for some of you. Yeah, Libra is the only one that I have here. It could be anybody though. Y'all know this. Y'all know this, man. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this person's current feelings for you now. How's this person currently feeling for Capricorn now, universe? Do, 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 do. Did they miss you? They want to talk to you. They mad at you. Don't ever want to see you again. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Empress reverse. Could be a Taurus. Magician reversed. Okay. All right. Some of you are dealing with a situation in which there could be black magic involved. Okay. I know that's not everybody, but every time I say that, at least one person resonates with that. So... Um, if you're in the 99% that that doesn't resonate with, don't worry about it. This is still very manipulative energy, though, even if it isn't like actual black magic. Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Ten of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, okay, okay. So, I do think they would like to talk to you. 
but I don't really think they're very interested in a reconciliation. Okay, I don't think so. Um, this right, I, maybe it's them that's manipulative. It's really hard to say here because the overall energy, as far as how they feel, is the Ten of Cups reversed. Maybe what they want to do is they want they they really want you to know that they're doing just fine now. You know what I mean? You know that type of energy. For whatever reason, I don't want you to think I'm missing you, and I definitely don't want you to think that I'm doing worse off without you, you know? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, not to get back together with you, but to just really, 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 really let it be known how good I'm doing now, how happy I am, you know? And that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't care to try to reconcile. Uh, I'm not really too concerned with extending or accepting or exchanging apologies and whatnot. I just want you to know that I'm doing good, you know? <laughs> and that feels kind of funny. I'm going to need to clarify some of that. Like, how are they really, like, are they really doing good, though? Maybe they are. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Are they really doing good? It just feels like they want to rub it in your face. Page of Wands. Fool reversed. Hmm. It's hard to say. Maybe they are doing good. Maybe they are. But why is it so important for them to let you know? That's my thing. Like, what? Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? If they're, if they really, there's got to be something unfinished in here. There's got to be something unfinished in here because if they had really like moved on from this, and if they were really, really, actually, truly healing from this, uh, pff, who really cares? I don't know about you, but me personally, I don't care to prove a point to anybody. I'm doing fine. Um, if you don't believe me, I don't care. That's on you. My life is just fine. Um, you know, that I don't really see what would be the point in feeling like they have to prove. What are they trying to prove, you know? I think they're hiding something. It's not really showing in here. It's not really showing in here. But I mean, just knowing me personally, I, I know that when if, if this was me and I was really, really doing as fine, as I wanted you to, to think I was doing, I wouldn't really care to try to explain it to you. I wouldn't really, uh, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't really feel like I have anything to prove. That's just me, though. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I guess let's look at a most likely outcome here. And this is mainly centered towards their actions. What's the most likely outcome? Are they going to reach out? Are they going to... Or maybe they could just be sitting around putting on a show for you on social media, hoping you're watching. Man, I hope Capricorn's watching because I'm, I'm putting this stuff all over social media, making myself look all good. Man, Capricorn better be watching. You know? I don't know, man. This is interesting. This is interesting. Most likely outcome. Hmm, King of Swords reversed. Two more, two more. Three of Cups reversed, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, see? Ace of Swords reversed. No, I really don't see communication, honestly. I really don't. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Um, seven of Pentacles. Ace of Swords reversed. It, it doesn't really look like there's a whole, whole lot of action happening here. Not really. If anything, I feel like you're probably, I don't even really think most of you even really care. I don't know. There is a little bit of bitterness here, okay, with the King of Swords in the reverse. There is a little bitterness, a little bit of shystiness, you know what I mean? Looks to me like you're moving on to bigger and better things, I think. Moving on to bigger and better things. Um, if anything, all this person's really doing is planning they're, they're, they're planning and scheming to, I think it's all a big bullshit front, big fake is what it looks like to me. Mm-hmm. 
That's what it looks like to me. I wouldn't, uh, I don't see any action happening. I really don't. I think you're moving on to bigger and better things, and this person is trying, they're trying to impress you, you know, or, or something. Oh, that's weird, Capricorn. I don't know what y'all got going on, or who you was dealing with, <laughs> who you was dealing with. What's the best advice? What is the best advice for my Caparoos, dude? Best advice. Queen of Cups. Oh man, it came out with a bunch of other cards. So we'll see if she wants to come back out. If she's meant to be in the spread, it'll definitely come back out. Two more shuffles. Two more. A boom, sun card. Okay. Four of Wands. It's time for you to move on to bigger and better things. New doorways of opportunity. This has been coming up for everybody. Okay. And since it was already in the outcome, I'm not really going to hammer on it as hard as I did the other signs. But don't be holding no grudge. The six, I didn't call it out, but the Six of Cups uh, was in the last spread as an outcome. So it's in the up right here as advice. So I feel like y'all are kind of already doing that. Just let go of the grudge. There's no point in holding the grudge. Okay, the Devil card, King of Cups. All right, so that is the Capricorn card. It is time to bring forth the highest vibrational version of you that you possibly can. Come from, become familiar with your energy, okay? So what that means is I'm going to become aware, I'm going to separate myself, the entity that is me, from the energies that influence me, such as Capricorn. I'm, okay, so here's me, and then here's the Capricorn energy influencing me. Okay, I'm going to vibrate higher than the Capricorn energy so that I can use this energy for the greater good, so that I can use it the way I want. Not so Capricorn energy is pulling me around and making decisions for me, you know. You know, those people, they always make excuses for their behavior based on their zodiac sign. Oh, I can't help it. I'm a Scorpio. Uh, no, Karen, you're just a bitch. I'm sorry. That don't, that's not a good excuse. You know what I mean? Um, so, no, no. Um, I'm going to separate myself from the energies that influence me so I can vibrate higher than that and use these energies the way I want. I'm using Capricorn energy. You know what I mean? I'm not Cap. You know, does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? Take accountability for your own emotional state, okay? So don't do the best, and I know this is a tall order, okay? But uh, don't do the best that you can not to give the outside world so much power over your emotions, you know? That's tough. That's like one of the most persistent illusions in this entire matrix is that the outside world happens to us, and then we respond emotionally. And no, that's not really the way it works. It's a really, really, really convincing illusion, but that's not really the way it works. We got to learn how to reverse that and, and flip that perspective inside out and upside down, okay? So this is probably the most important piece of advice in this entire spread right here, okay? So when it comes to this past situation, I know I, I got a bunch of different Capricorns I'm reading for here. Some of you, th there was a situation in which you were done very, very wrong, okay? Now, you are the one who has the power and the authority to assign a meaning to that life experience. You're the one that does that. Not me, not some other psychic or some uh, tarot card reader or, or anybody else. No spiritual public figure that tries to make you think they're so perfect floating on a cloud and they just know every damn thing. No, 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 no. You're the one that does that, okay? It's up to you. You're the boss, you're the president, you're the emperor, you're the king, okay, of your experience. You're the one that gets to decide what that situation meant and what that experience meant, what the meaning of that was, okay? You're the one that gets to decide, did this happen to me or did this happen for me, okay? If you choose to believe that this was something that happened to benefit you in the future, you don't have to try to, matter of fact, don't try to figure out how, because you're not going to be able to. I just choose to believe that that thing that happened had a deeper meaning. I choose to hold a space for one of these days, one of these days, 
I'm going to be able to look back on that and not only be healed from it, but be so thankful that it happened for all that it taught me that I wouldn't go back and, and take it back or, or change it or redo it for anything in the world. Even if you stuck a time machine in front of me right now, I wouldn't do it. You know, that's the goal here. If you choose to give your, your belief and your faith to the idea that one of these days you're going to see exactly why that had to happen and you're going to be thankful for it, it has no choice but to manifest. Again, don't try to figure it out. Don't try to make it happen. Don't try to sit down and logically, that's a big earth sign thing. You all try to logically plan too much. The logical, analytical, ego thinking brain is good at doing many, 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 many things, but creating something it's never experienced is not one of them, okay? You're going to have to get out of the way, give your faith over to that, and let the universe work those details out for you, okay? And it will, it has, when I do this, I'm not saying 90% of the time. I'm not even saying 95% of the time or 99% of the time, 100% of the time when something bad happens in my life and I choose to believe with 100% conviction that one of these days I'm going to see exactly why this thing happened and it's, it's happening to benefit me, it happens 100% of the time. That is how we connect to the future aspects of ourselves out there in the quantum field and pull forth those timelines, okay, by default. That's how we navigate timelines. Okay, just try that. Okay, just try it. I think y'all heal up from this just fine, and you're off on, on to bigger and better things right now. Okay, so anywho, I feel like that was the message my Capricorns needed to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you who tuned in, played along, and show love, support, and positive feedback here on my channel every day. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to look in the description box of this video for information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.